I'm Ignacio Grossman. I'm a professor of uh, chemical engineering here at uh, Carnegie Mellon University. I'm also the director of the Center for Advanced uh, Process uh, Decision Making. The major goal of my research is to develop optimization models and methods in order to address a variety of problems in process systems engineering, and specifically what is called mixed integer optimization. Mixed integer optimization means uh, mathematical models in which you have both continuous and discrete variables, the idea being that you want to model and select, for example, the topology with zero one variables and select parameters with continuous variables, typically to minimize a given objective function and you need to meet equality and inequality constraints. So a good part of our work is devoted to developing algorithms for solving these problems. To apply them to a variety of problems, an interesting application is the one of water networks. Water networks are very prevalent in industry. What you have is the use of fresh water that you use in a number of processing units. Through these units you pick a number of contaminants which then have to be removed by treatment units. And the conventional way of approaching this is with centralized system where you just simply send all the effluents coming from the process units into the treatment units. And instead of doing that, what we can do is to reuse and recycle the water in order to minimize the fresh water consumption. And in that way we can construct a template where we consider all possible alternatives and we model then that problem with mixed integer up optimization. By solving such a problem we can then obtain actually a great reduction in freshwater consumption, in this case actually from 300 tons per hour down to only 40 tons per hour. And again this has been accomplished through this mathematical optimization technique. Furthermore, this uh, type of model can also be incorporated into processes, specifically in biofuel processes. One interesting area of application is corn-based ethanol. These are plants that are known to consume large amounts of water. In fact, in the initial uh, stages of uh, development these plants would consume as much as 11 gallons per water for every gallon of ethanol being produced. With our optimization technique, we've been able to show that it's actually possible to reduce the freshwater consumption in an ethanol plant down to only 1.5 gallons of water per gallon of ethanol. So this is clearly a very important accomplishment. Here in Western Pennsylvania, shale gas is a major development that's uh, taking place and essentially one of the ways that we can use our optimization models is to predict the structure of supply chains in which we connect well pads through pipelines, we connect them through processing plants where we separate the hydrocarbons, for example ethane and propane, from the natural gas which is essentially methane. When we determine the supply chains, we can actually also predict the schedules on how we should be drilling these uh, wells. A major issue when drilling wells is hydraulic fracturing, and that requires the order of 5 million gallons of water for every well that we drill. So the logistics involved here is uh, very difficult because you have to supply very large amounts of water in a very short period of time. We work actually with a company here in Western Pennsylvania in order to apply our technique to try to determine in a more economical way the acquisition of water. Instead of using a heuristic schedule that was essentially a schedule that was developed by intuition or engineering judgment if you wish, our mathematical optimization model was able to determine a different schedule. Well, the important thing is that through that schedule we were able to greatly reduce the number of trucks that are needed to transport the water. In fact, from 14,000 to less than 1,400 trucks. That's one order of magnitude reduction and that then also translated of course production in emissions of CO2. Through the application of modern optimization techniques like mixed integer programming we're able to reduce freshwater consumption, energy consumption and in that way actually reduce the cost of chemical processes, help industry and make it more competitive. These type of techniques can of course also be used in order to reduce environmental impact.